So we have some very alarming news that just came out today. We are now hearing from experts that what is coming could be 100 times worse than the COVID pandemic. That is how serious this is. I want to break down what's going on because what we are hearing from within the United States is that everything is perfectly fine. There's no reason to panic. There's no reason to go out there and buy hordes of toilet paper. Go, you know, make sure you're planting your own vegetables, buy your own cattle. They're saying, no, it's perfectly fine. But experts in other countries, India being one of them, is warning that this is coming. So I'm going to break down what's going on. I will do that in just a second. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what could be worse and especially a hundred times worse than the pandemic? Well, look at this. It says alarm bells ring over H5N1 bird flu. Experts warn a pandemic worse than COVID. Now, I want to touch on something that a lot of people are not really grasping. And a lot of people are pretty much just looking right over. Now, yes, could this bird flu be a hundred times worse than the COVID pandemic? Absolutely. But we will not know that until we are in it. And that is what I want to discuss is how are we being prepared? Because right now, if you listen to the CDC, the World Health Organization, or doctors here in the U.S., they say, we're perfectly fine. There's nothing that is going to get to us. Well, that's exactly what we heard during the pandemic. All we had to do was shut down for two weeks. That's it. No school for two weeks. Treat it like a vacation. No work for two weeks. Go on vacation. You're fine. Go home. Just stay home. You'll be perfectly fine. And then three years later, we're finally crawling out of this pandemic. Well, let's go ahead and look at this because this is what ABC News has to say. ABC News says this, the bird flu outbreak poses no risk, okay? It poses no risk to safety of America's food supply, say experts. Hmm. So ABC News says there's absolutely no risk. But then we listen to other experts from other countries and they say, no, there is a risk. But yet you guys don't see it. Now, I want to show you this as well, okay? Because this is from Reuters just today. It says, wider bird flu spread rises, raises concern for humans, animal health body says. That is a big issue, okay? When the bird flu spread, is raising the concern for humans, I think we should all be, well, prepared. But how do you prepare? Well, let's go back and read this article. Okay, this is actually out of India. I wanna read this to you. And now we're gonna read the whole thing. But look at this. It says, Dr. Suresh something, a prominent bird flu researcher warned that we are nearing the threshold of a potential pandemic caused by H5N1. He emphasized that the virus has already shown the ability to infect a wide range of uh, mammalian hosts, including humans, making it a formidable pandemic threat. Says, echoing this statement, John Fulton, a pharmaceutical indus industry consultant, highlighted the grave implications of H5N1 mutating while maintaining its high fatality rate, which could result in a pandemic far worse than COVID. It says this appears to be 100 times worse than COVID, or it could be if it mutates and maintains its high case fatality rate. That's the concern. This could easily be 100 times worse than COVID if it mutates and maintains its high case fatality rate. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because of what I've been told by a few people that have uh, large farms, uh, you know, they're doing, they have cattle, they also have, you know, fruits, vegetables, right? They're just farmers. Also, I have a person, uh, I have a good friend of mine who is a manager of a pretty substantial um, grocery store, uh, or a regional manager of a, of a grocery store. And he told me 
that they are already seeing that there's supply chain issues. But yet, nobody's discussing this. He's seeing on his end, there's supply chain issues. So prices at stores are going up. But everyone else says, no, perfectly fine. No problems here. I want to read you this, okay? One of my friends bought a farm. Uh, it was probably in the, it was right when the pandemic was, it was hitting, okay? It was the probably middle of 2020. He bought a large farm. This is what he told me on Monday. Okay, this is the message that he sent me. He says, and I quote, bro, you really need to increase your personal garden. Just this week, I secured eight contracts uh, from suppliers that are worried about H5N1 impacting their farms. Although beef and poultry should be fairly safe, fairly in all caps, he says, I have turned to planting more vegetables and you should too. Tell your viewers this as well. This virus is bigger than what we in the US are making it out to be. So he says he's secured eight new contracts in the past week, okay, from suppliers that are worried about the H5N1 virus. Why would people be worried? It's because they're already seeing the writings on the wall. Now, I wanna read you one last thing, okay? And it's this, the H5N1 fatality rate. Now, before I do that, I do wanna say one thing. I know a lot of people live in a city, live in you know, large cities. They cannot just go out and they don't have acres to go and plant a garden. That's fine. One of the things you can do, and I talked to a few of my friends who are um, you know, preppers, and you know, well, prepper is kind of a you know, bad you know, term. Anyway, they uh, survivalists, right? They, they, they know how to survive and, and they have gardens. Well, they said get one of these. It's an indoor garden. Okay, the hydroponics growing system. These things are simple to use, right? They, this one right here, um, it's, uh, I think it has like a few to 12 different pods in it. So you can kind of see what it does, but that's what it is, 12 different pods. You, you'll plant your different you know, fruits or vegetables. It even has a little grow light above it. Again, this is only $40. It's actually 20% off. I'll put a link to this down in the description box below, but go and do something like this. You can grow simple things, right? Radishes, just in this picture right here, you can see they're growing strawberries, right? So you're growing your own fruits and vegetables. That is what uh, a lot of people are recommending. It's, it's very difficult to, especially in a city, you're not gonna be able to you know, go and uh, raise chickens, right? And if there is a bird flu uh, you know, virus out there and it, it affects you know, other you know, poultry in your area, there's a chance it could infect your, your chickens as well. And then you'd have to kill them off and you couldn't eat, eat the chicken, you couldn't have the eggs, right? That's a problem. But I wanna read you this one last thing. It says, the World Health Organization has estimated the fatality rate for H5N1 at a staggering 52% based on data collected since 2003. In contrast, COVID's fatality rate is significantly lower and emphasizing the potential severity of a widespread H5N1 outbreak. Recent cases since 2020 show that uh, nearly 30% of individuals infected with the new strain of H5N1 have died. That's alarming. It says, as the situation unfolds, the White House and health experts are urging for increased vigilance and preparedness. The White House press secretary assured the public that the health and safety of Americans are a top priority and that measures are being taken to monitor and address the bird flu outbreak. It says beyond the immediate health risks, the spread of H5N1 has broader economic implications, particularly for the dairy and poultry industry with an affected cattle showing symptoms and a requirement to cull infected birds. There could be a significant impact on the supply and pricing of milk and eggs. Now, this is it. This is the reason why, according to my friend, this is the reason why he's seen some of his, uh, he's securing contracts from suppliers because they are concerned that the price of milk and eggs is gonna go up. They're concerned that the price of beef is gonna go up as well. And as this happens, as the, the, the supply is actually diminished and demand is staying the same, prices have to go up which means for chicken and stuff like that, again, 
if this is impacting cattle, it's going to impact chickens as well. It's going to impact poultry. But here's what he's saying. This is the reason why you should be growing your own fruits and vegetables. Because as meat becomes too expensive, you will be forced to go and get fruits and vegetables in order to just feed yourself and your family. This is the reason why he's saying this is a must. But at the same time, keep in mind, billionaires like Bill Gates have been buying farmland excessively. Okay, They have so much farmland. I think Bill Gates has the most farmland here in the United States. Okay, China has also been buying farmland. Why would Bill Gates and Chinese nationals be buying farmland? What are they seeing that us here in the United States are not seeing yet? This is why some are speculating that this is pretty much the writing's been on the wall for years. And Bill Gates even said, he said that he predicts in 2000 or 2025, we are going to have the next pandemic. And well, it might just be because of the bird flu. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.